Good morning, brothers and sisters of the hook. We are at Swoop Boat Launch here in New Smyrna Beach. And we are gonna go out deep today. I got cousin Kyle with me today because Big John's still working on his car, I guess, on his calipers. So we are gonna go out to about 25 miles out, pretty sure. I feel some breeze, so we'll see what it looks like when we get out the end of the jetty. And we'll get back to you when we get out there. Everything's working right. All right, boys and girls, it is 8.31, and Kyle hooks into the first, he's got his jig on. We are out here, 25 miles out. Oh, that's a, that's a, 25 miles out, you catch a little bitty grunt like that. Oh my, that would be a law. There we go. And I feel like I got me a grunt. Oh, had me a grunt. But we're out here. And nobody else is. Supposedly, uh, brother of the hook, David, is supposed to be coming out in an hour or two. We'll see. We'll see. If not, we're going to have fun by ourselves. Okay, we're in strong current, folks. And we've just caught a few grunts. We're adjusting our fishing habits, adding weight and stuff. But the old... Minn Kota SP70, it's got probably thousands of hours on it, gave out. Smoke was coming out of it. So, I had to throw the anchor out, but you know what? We got an anchor. And we're just catching little grunts way out here. I had a hard hit, broke my line. Probably a king, so I put wire on there. But we're, we're trying to make adjustments and everything. Yeah. Cousin Kyle, hold that up. That looks like a keeper. Measure him up. Let me know. That's good. Good to see. So good to see. You got your ruler with you? Yep. Let me know. Wow. Okay. I'm going to get this line out of the way. And start working this line in. We think we got us a kingfish. And I'm keeping this one because I got a, a dryer coming. And I want to make some fish jerky. And kingfish, that sort of fish, is ideal for that sort of thing. Okay, here is the gaff. Oh, a bunch of bait. See a bunch of bait down there. All kind of bait. Okay. Wow, look at all that bait. Kingfish, yep. See them way down there. There's another one blowing up behind us. Wow, he's not happy. No, he's not happy at all. Something else? No, that's, that's just the king. I thought something else was with him. I see something over there. That's a nice size one, too. Wow, something going on right behind the boat there. Good for you. Way to catch him. Thank you, Kyle. What in the world's going on over there? Man. Look at those teeth, folks. I got a food dehydrator coming. Catch him, Kyle. Wow. I should be able to get this guy in here. Bend him a little. If not, I got a catch cooler. I can put him in. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Benita. Yeah. Yeah. Sell it. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a tough spot. All right, let me get this hook out. I want to start right in the middle of it. I'm on the other side of the boat. Throw it out there. Yeah. I'll put him in here. He'll shrink down a little bit. Thank you, Lord. I skunk out of the back of the boat. Perfect. You bring up that kingfish and look what it brought with it. What? Let me put these back in here and toss this sardine out again. If I catch another king, do you want it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what those are. They don't look like king. They look like kingfish. Oh, it's just my bait. Man, you look like you were right there. I'd get it out there. Yes, I can. All right, let's get out here and try to catch us another one, just as big as the other one. Cousin Kyle has caught a real fish. He got some bend to the pole. Could be a mang. I see it back there. Here it comes up. Looking red. He's looking a little bit reddish. Looking too much red. He's looking like a red. Looking, looking all the red to me. Snap I thought they were all caught. Oh, they're all gone. No, they're not. You got one. Oh, you might have the only one though. Yeah. This almost feels like a porgy. Or it felt like a porgy. Uh, I think it got off. Oh, gonna can't keep them on here. Oh, this is a grunt. This is a grunt. Just a little grunt. I can keep him on. Feels like another porgy. I actually see him way back there. Can't tell what it is. That water is so clear. Or it could be a trigger, I guess. Looks like a little trigger. Yeah, trigger. Different species. And a whole bunch of fish following it. What is that? Whole bunch of fish following it. Don't know what they were. He's just a little bit too little. Bit. Oh, he might be. He could make it. I don't think he's 14 because he's missing a tail. He's missing half his tail. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is weird. He is missing half of his tail. Look at that, Lord. Lord, Lord has protected this fish. You can't tell how long he is. He's about 12 inches long with no tail. Think he got something worthwhile? That could be Yellowtail, my brother of the hook, Yellowtail, David. I see two grunts. Two grunts. Two grunts, one nice little one. There you go. Cousin Kyle got something on here he thinks is maybe not be red. He didn't catch one red snapper so far. Looks triggerish to me. Another little trigger. Little trigger. Mr. Kyle, cousin Kyle, got trigger, trigger, trigger. Another little trigger. We got another trigger. We have come in to. We might have a shark or something. Oh, oh! Right under the boat. Right under the boat. Reef number six. Because the current out there was just unbelievable. Think it was a snapper? I think it was a snapper. Hmm. Just how soft the bite was. And while I'm thinking about it, oh man, where did it? I had a happy birthday to holler out to somebody, and I can't do it because I lost the 
I lost the. Yeah, I lost it. Oh man, I'm so sad. Cause oh, uh, no. oh man, barracuda again. That's three fish that Kyle's lost on that barracuda. And I well, that wasn't a, that wasn't a, a mangrove. Whew. That was just a grunt. That barracuda looking for trouble. Well, good morning, brothers and sisters of the hook. At the beginning of this video, it's a short little trip that my cousin Kyle and I made out to Distant Reef, and it was very bad fishing, comparatively. Um, I just caught a kingfish, and he caught a vermilion snapper, and the current was incredibly swift. So... Since I have bought this unit, it's a dehydrator, and I bought this specifically for um, dehydrating and making fish jerky and some other things that we're going to experiment with, me, my wife and I. It has one, two, three, four, five different trays, and these trays can fit this way make it short see how, how much shorter it is I don't know if you can see that or not you turn it this way it makes it taller okay so that if you got tall vegetables or meat or whatever uh, you can raise it up so they're not touching top to bottom but I just bought this got it in yesterday it did one um, dehydration about eight to ten hours it's called an AICOK I call I guess I don't know um, got it off of Amazon and this is my first run of King mackerel jerky look at that actually it tastes pretty good I'm not going to eat any right now because I'm fasting I'm on the um, Jason Fung intermittent fasting diet where you skip meals once or twice or three times a week or you know adjust yourself anyway so I'm dehydrating, making making fish jerky out of king mackerel. And there's one thing that I found out. You want them thin. Three-eighths of an inch at the max. You get them, you know, this is a piece of thick right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's kind of thick. It's kind of pliable. That's what you don't want. So you gotta you gotta slice it thin. All the way. I'm cutting lengthwise because I want it long and one of the reasons is I buy snacks for my girls, my dogs. I got four female dachshunds and so I buy snacks for them. Well, these kind of snacks um, can be expensive. Can be expensive. And so I've got so much fish in my freezer and I'm going to try some red snapper jerky here, <clears throat> dehydrate some red snapper jerky probably sometime this afternoon after this kingfish gets done. Here's my ingredients. I got some liquid smoke. This is natural hickory, black pepper, lemon and pepper. This is a an ingredient that it's not called for but I'm going to try it. It's called Japanese style jerk cooking sauce. Got that at Winn-Dixie. Garlic powder and onion powder. And I will probably not use too much of this because this is salty. Really salty. And so I looked at the ingredients of this uh, soy sauce. One tablespoon one tablespoon 1250 milligrams 
of salt. That's 52 percent. One tablespoon of this is 52 percent of what you supposed to have all day long. So I will be using very little of this and this has this has 250 milligrams one-tenth what this has and this is kind of sweeter tasting anyway so I'm going to use that okay let's get back to cutting nice and thin slices no more than three sixteenths of an inch thick take your time don't need to be in a hurry this is where you don't waste anything now I did a little experiment and I left the skin on I'm not going to do that again take the skin off it doesn't work quite right when it's dehydrating I don't know other people have better success than I did but I didn't like it okay bits and pieces they all go in and when I go to mixing this stuff I'll show you Okay, I'll get back to you when I start mixing those ingredients into here. Okay, I'm starting to wrap up the cutting up of the king. And it would have been much smarter to remove the skin beforehand when I was filleting it out than it is after you cut it into cubes or whatever. Because taking cutting the skin off afterwards is tough. It's hard to do and you waste quite a bit. These are thin enough slices. And of course you gotta clean everything very well after you're done. All the little bits you keep. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to take some of this Jamaican, it's Jamaican style jerk it's called, kind of barbecue-y. I'm going to put a little honey in this too, just to add some sweetie. Some sweetness to it and this is liquid smoke natural hickory give us a smoke flavor a little bit of pepper probably gonna sneeze that's enough of that and lemon and herb with lemon and pepper that's enough of that garlic powder can't go wrong with garlic powder onion this is onion powder onion Go a little bit lighter on this than I did this first batch here because this is strong. My dogs love it. I like it, but it's kind of strong tasting, so I'm lightening up on everything. And mix it all together. And I'll put a touch of this in there. Ooh, that's enough. That's enough of that. Lots of salt. I don't want it to taste like salt water. Mix it, mix it, mix it. I saw one video where a guy had a whole puddle of this in the bottom, like I did the first time. And so that's why I made it that way the first time. And whew, 
man. All that salt. High blood pressure. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Okay. Now, let's take this over here. Let's take this over here and we will take off all. Put that there. For now. And we will begin putting our meat evenly spaced but not touching on here and this king mackerel one whole king mackerel I'd say about maybe 15 pounds half of it <coughs> I told you I was going to sneeze <laughs> You can do half of it at a time with these five. Now maybe I can space it a little bit better than I did the first time. We'll see. Anyway, when I get closer to the top, I'll turn this back on. Okay, I did a little bit better job of positioning on this batch than I did on the first batch. I only have a little bit on the very top tier. And they're nice and solid. Put the top on. Turn it all the way up. 158 degrees. It's as high as this goes. Turn it on. And it's supposed to take 6 to 8 hours. And I like my uh, fish dry. So I'm going to go 8 to 10 hours. So we'll see how it turns out. We'll get back to you. We'll get all done. Boy, I can't wait. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, we are going to wrap this video up. I have finished drying these, and it has been about 12 hours. That's my um, kingfish jerky. Notice how much it's shrunk up. Oh my goodness, it's shrunk a lot. It is not bad. Has almost no salt in it, which is not good see and what I'm doing not bad that's not bad good and just like jerky just like jerky these girls love it do you love a biscuit huh cocoa hmm Bailey well, what I'm gonna do tomorrow I've already mixed up a batch Got some, a little bit of honey, a little bit of honey that I put in this next batch I'm going to make, and a little bit of soy sauce, and some of this Jamaican sauce, and I put some of this in there. Spice it up just a little bit, but keep the salt kind of low. So. Put it all in this airtight container. Rinse this off. Now I'll start again in the morning. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. But I'm going to make it better. Anyway, that's jerky. That is fish jerky. You take a not very good fish like king mackerel. prep it right put it in a dehydrator for 12 hours it gets nice and done and crispy look at that look at all that there you go that's good for the kids too all right get back to the next batch